two lost kids. All I could see was two torsos and a head. Her head was gently nestled on his neck, while his head was placed on her breast, listening to her sobbing heart. He would feel the bitter yet sweet taste of her tears roll down his cheek into his expecting mouth. Who knew what or why she was crying or why he was comforting her? One thing was for certain they were young and in love and a train with a pre-designed destiny that would remain theirs alone. I hoped for them that an interventionist force would never interfere with something that was born of pure love. He was a clean-cut lad, she was expressed through her hair. His sincereness was for all to see, the world would take note of his love. With a warm breath on a cold night, she would softly whisper into his ear, I'm sadder than you, I love you. A single tear would fall from him and land on her skin, her skin would come alive, they kiss. The taste of her own tears on her lips. She can never leave him and he can never lose her nor can this moment ever be forgotten.